So, yep, yeah, so I'm Andrew, I'm here from Anki, and um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about, um, about our, our robot Cosmo. So first, I'm just curious how many people here have actually heard of Anki at all? Okay, great, that's a, that's a big number. Um, so we're a small um, robotics and AI company up in San Francisco, um, and we're focused right now on entertainment. And so our two products are Overdrive, which is a toy car racing game, and Cosmo, which I'll talk about here. So same question, who here has heard of Cosmo? Also not bad, and does anyone have a Cosmo? I know you do. All right, great. So uh, for those of you who may not be aware, so Cosmo is an app-driven autonomous character robot. So it's like taking a character from a movie, um, move from the movie screen and making him real. Um, we launched him last fall, and, and as indicated, he'd sold very well last fall. We sold out, and uh, it was a very popular uh, premium toy on Amazon. Price point's $179. And as a particular interest maybe to this crowd is that he also comes with a full-featured software development kit in addition to the app that you, you play with him with. So that's um, also pretty compelling, and I don't have time to get into it here, but there's a lot more interesting stuff coming in um, on the, the education front with the SDK. So Cosmo is actually already being used at Georgia Tech and Carnegie Mellon in the robotics programming classes. So there's a lot of pretty interesting stuff to be done uh, with the SDK as well. So the primary goal of the whole product is really just to bring Cosmo to life, to make him seem like a little aware being. He's not going to vacuum your floors. He's not going to clean your kitchen. It's not about utility. This robot is just about entertainment and fun. And um, so the, really, it's all about giving him personality. And that personality is achieved through animation. So he's animated the same way that characters are on screen. We have a team of animators who de de uh, develop his backstory, his character. They, they animate in Maya the same, they, same way they would for a CG movie, but we render that, those keyframes from Maya directly onto a physical robot. So that allows us to use that, that power of personality and storytelling that we get from this creative, that the creatives at the company, and, and deploy them in a physical system. And of course, in, in addition to, to um, performing, he's also interactive. So that's, of course, where vision comes in, uh, how to make him aware of his, of his surroundings. <clears throat> 